What is going on guys? Agent Theo here and as you can see from the intro clip I made today I'll be presenting I didn't make it, no. I'll just be sharing my thoughts and opinions on it with you. But yeah, we will be talking about Mob of the Dead. Uh, now, um, if you're watching this, this is probably not the first time you hear about Mob of the Dead, so I'm gonna try to keep myself fairly short, but I will also try to share my experience with it. And by the way, I apologize, this video was supposed to be up yesterday when the DLC came out, but I was a little late, so yeah. Alright, let's start off. So, Alcatraz. Prison. Four guys who break out of prison and discover the place is full of zombies and they have to escape. Now, um, from what I've seen compared to other zombies, uh, this is more kind of like story based. I, I wouldn't say they went overboard with the story here either. You know, after all, it's just Black Ops 2. But um, they did put, you know, cutscenes and neat little elements like that. They, they gave this zombies mode a purpose and actually an ending. Uh, so you have to collect these parts to escape, you know. Basically, like, uh, what could I compare it to? Transit, I guess? You have to collect parts for that, too, uh, to make progress. But, um, yeah, this they basically have to collect parts for the chopper, and they, they are the parts are strewn all over the uh, freaking island. Or, er, the prison. But, yeah, I may as well start off by talking about ghost form, since that's what you saw in the beginning there. Um, Ghost form is something new for zombies modes, I'd have to say, in the sense that you can be in two different dimensions. Uh, uh, and that is pretty cool because sometimes you need to be in ghost form. Like, for instance, sometimes the character will comment, Oh, this thing needs a little juice. And I mean, you're a ghost, you have like these electric shockwaves, so what do you do? You go kill yourself and you um, bust it bust up the power by zapping it with your little electrocution ghost hands. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, sometimes you also need to get somewhere where you normally couldn't get, so, you know, like through holes in walls, rifts, or, you know, you need to levitate. Uh, the ghost form can also do that. But I did notice, however, that you only have a limited amount of time in ghost form before you run out of time and your character dies, so you have to get back there fairly soon. You can feel like you're... You can notice that like your heart, quote-unquote, heart rate is starting to increase and that's how you know, like, the faster it goes, the more you know that, okay, shit, I have to get back to my character and resurrect myself. Um, but yeah, so Ghost Farmer is only temporary, and by the way, I, from what I see, you do not get points from killing zombies in Ghost Form, so be wary of that. Uh, but it can also be a good way to help out your fellow teammates if you're, like, getting overrun and you need someone to sort of back out and just step into ghost form and just nuke some zombies. But yeah, very nifty feature and it'll be pretty cool. And I like that it has a timed um, sequence, like you can't just be in, in ghost form forever before you are forced back or die. Uh, and, and then I want to talk a little bit about the atmosphere. From what I see, there is a lot of doors to open. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Uh, so you do need to rack up a lot of points. And at the, at the start, you don't really know where the parts are, so you kind of have to guess, which means sometimes you open some unnecessary doors. It's just pretty cool. Um, the hallways are freaking narrow. Um, you know, it's a prison, so there's not a lot of room. Uh, it's really, just a really kind of claustrophobic atmosphere, um, but it is, it is pretty cool. I like the detail they put into the environment, um, it feels very much like a prison, and you get to visit some, uh, other areas later on that look a little different. One thing I liked was, like, this dungeon-type place where they sort of kept prisoners. I think I even saw this guy... Uh, hung up on the wall somewhere. That was pretty cool. Um, and you also get to visit outside areas later on, obviously. But yeah, as you progress, you know, more areas of the prison become open to you. Um, but it is very big, and I'll tell you, it is very easy to get lost. Um, oh, what else? There is some neat little features that I noticed. Uh, for instance, you can get this 
I don't know what it is. I think you buy it off the wall, but it's basically this giant fiery dog head that sticks his head out. And I thought he was going to be hostile at first, but he actually helps you. He eats the zombies and stuff like that. Um, there are also traps that you can buy, like gas traps, spike traps, which cost regular points. Uh, and then after you use them, they obviously have to recharge for a brief moment and then you can buy them again. Um, that is pretty cool. I uh, just thought I'd show this off as well. The item box got a little overhaul. It looks pretty cool. Um, overall, I'd have to say it's a pretty cool looking zombies map. Um, I like the fact that it has an ending. I mean, you can actually get somewhere and it doesn't feel like you're just moving on and on and on. Hopefully I've shared enough of my experiences with you to decide whether you want Mob of the Dead or not, but if you are one of those people who really enjoys zombies, uh, by all means get it, because I do think it's a very worthy entry. And if you do get it, I hope you have a lot of fun with your friends, and yeah, that is pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching, stay epic, goodbye.